Hey everybody, thanks for coming in to check out the Phase 3 review. I really appreciate you stopping by. If you like what I do, make sure to give me a subscribe or a like or leave me a message below. I'm happy to respond to those. Here's a couple of promises I have for you though, the viewer, uh, about how I do my reviews. Number one, this is not a staffer review. I'm not the guy that's going to sit here and edit together about 15 strikes and tell you how amazing a bowling ball is. I want you to see good and bad shots because I think misses matter. Number two, I will not pull any punches at any time when talking about any ball or any brand. If you're a fanboy of a certain ball, great, glad you like them. You might not like what I have to say, but I'm going to give you the truth. And number three, at the end, I will tell you whether it makes my main bag, and I'll give it a grade. Let's go. All right, here we go. Frame one of the 10 frame review. Right in the track area, lay it down to 15, get it out to about 8, let it come back in. Um, let me be honest about this ball for a second. When I first got this ball, and I first started throwing it, one thing that, that became very clear very early was that this was the single most erratic uh, over-under piece that I had used. Uh, I had just came back to bowling about a year ago after 18 years away. Um, and the game has changed a lot and, and I've had some pieces since coming back that have been erratic, but none so much as this one. And, and to be frank, I was, I was a bit underwhelmed, uh, as I was with the Crux Prime, as I was with the All Road, as I was with the Fever Pitch. Um, All Road is, is, is growing on me a little bit, but this ball here, I felt like it had something to it. I just had to figure out what it was. And for me, what really changed this ball from being this erratic piece that that I could no in no way game or use um, to a ball that is is really climbing the ranks in my arsenal um, was to scuff it with a 2000 pad uh, I did it by hand the first time used it for a couple games picked up some lane shine and I started to get some more over under kind of weird things going on um, so Last week, about a week ago, as of the, re uh, the the shooting of this video, I went ahead and scuffed it with 2,000 on a spinner, and it was a moderate 2,000. The pad had about 70% life left in it, um, and I just scuffed it real nice, not heavy, not light, just, just real even, um, and it really changed the ball. It's remarkable to me how much this ball has actually changed, because before, a year ago, before you know, I knew you could change surface, I would have just given it away and said, well, I just wasted another little pot of money. This shot here is the one that really just kind of shows you how this ball drives. It will hook and it will drive. And for me, when I start carrying, when I shoot my best scores, the ball looks just like this. It's finishing at the eight pin, uh, not the eight, nine pocket, but at the eight pin. And that ball looked really great. This ball here I get a little late into the pocket. Not a great shot, to be honest. Um, get a little late into the pocket and, uh, you know, leave that seven pin. But I've been carrying fantastic with this ball, which hasn't been my experience with Storm Stuff to date. I haven't been carrying really well uh, for a while with Storm Stuff, frankly. Uh, but you can see that shot there. There's another one. That ball finishes right in the 8-9 pocket, um, which, is, which is where you want to be. Uh, and looks good in route there uh, and this next ball you'll see just absolutely buries the pocket could have very easily been a nine um, but just drove through it and just blew the rack apart um, really like this ball this ball I think has a lot of uses it, it, it obviously takes to surface changes very well uh, which is a, a benefit to people I think some people will need to scuff it I think some people may need to polish it if theirs comes duller than mine did um, but overall, very, very good piece. This shot here, I just get a little bit slow. Um, yeah, goes through the nose. But either way, I think this ball has a lot of uses. League, uh, sports shots, tournaments. Uh, and I think you can lay it out any number of ways to get any reaction you want from it. Uh, and have a lot of success doing so. So the question becomes, does the Phase 3 make the bag? Well, in case you can't tell... The answer, the answer is a resounding yes, and it's the main bag, the main five ball bag, and not the three ball bag that carries my auxiliary stuff that I use when all else fails. Final grade is B plus. Good ball. I want to say thanks to Rab Ho Bowling Center and Bobby's Pro Shop at AMF Aurora for punching this up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.